Gaius Julius Caesar de Bello Quile, Episode 7. Ut M. Clidius, qui cansebat, ut Pompeius in suas provincias, proficiscaretur, ne qua eset armordrum causa, temere caesarem eir repti ab eo duabus legionibus, ne areas periculum reservardre et retenere eas ad urbem Pompeius videretur. Now Caesar gives another example of the debate in the Senate. He says another example, or for example, there was Marcus Calidius, who was of the opinion, who was holding the position, and now we're going to get what is in effect a direct quotation, that Pompey should advance or should depart for his provinces. Why do I say a direct quotation? Because typically we might expect Kensebat to introduce oratio obliqua, to introduce the concept of indirect statement, but we don't have here an indirect statement because we don't have an accusative infinitive construction. Instead, we have ut with the subjunctive. And so this is probably a noun object clause, and it's representing what was a direct quote. Pompey should depart for his provinces, ne eset, so that there not be ne eset. So this is a negative purpose. We might call it a finale, a purpose clause, a finale negativum, finale negativum, so that there not be qua causa. And of course, qua here, we are to understand as representing actually aliqua. So there be no occasion or no reason for war, ne qua eset causa armordrum. And this, of course, here is in the neuter plural genitive. And arms here means warfare, of course. What else did Marcus Calidius say? Well, we have here the continuation, and I believe what is an error in the transcription. So I think this needs to be a reptis. I'm sure that this is what Duponte, the OCT, has, because this reading here, I'll have to check, but this reading here, a repti, is very difficult. So I believe it is a reptis with legionibus. That Caesar was afraid. Caesarem time erdre. Here we have our oratio obliqua with timere as a second declension and caesarem as a masculine singular accusative as the subject, of course, of timere. That Caesar was afraid since his two legions, duabus legionibus, had been taken away, erreptis, from him. So this erreptis is from eripio, which is a so called third declension io verb. And what we have here is an ablative absolute. Caesar was afraid since the two legions were wrested from him. And what did he fear? The rest is going to be this object clause, this fear clause. Now remember, in a fear clause, a fear that something is going to happen is represented by ne. A fear that something will not happen is represented by ut. That's how it works. So the ne widerator here represents the fear that Caesar had for what would happen. So what was that fear? It was the fear that, for his own danger, Aeus being Caesar, for his own danger, reservara et retenere Aeus, keeping close and uh, holding them, them here being the legions, near the city, that's what Pompey seemed to be doing. So if we want to re- order it, to make it into better English, Caesar was afraid, to mere Caesarem, this is what M. Calidius said, that since his two legions had been deprived from him, had been taken away from him, he was afraid that Pompey seemed to be, Pompeius Widerator, seemed to be preserving and keeping those legions close to the city. And then we have this prepositional phrase, ad eis periculum, which is expressing purpose for Caesar's peril in order to endanger Caesar. That was Caesar's fear, according to Marcus Calidius. Notice the three individuals are at the beginning, M. Calidius, in the center, Caesarem, and right at the end, Pompeius. If you enjoyed that little video lesson, please go ahead and subscribe for us, click the bell and so forth, check out the other videos on this page, leave a comment, and please be sure to check out our Patreon page as well.